well matters to do with the environment and conservation. Well, let's start you off with that big story now. And Kenya today joins the rest of the world in marking the World Environment Day. This year's theme connecting people to nature aims to harness man's ability to science and technology. It comes at a time when, according to the protecting and environment improvement actually of the human environment, a major issue which affects the well-being of people and economic development through the world. Trixie Ngado brings us the details. Land, forests, water, the air that we breathe, this is our environment. It is the keystone of a sustainable future. Without a healthy environment, we cannot end poverty or build prosperity. We all have a role to play in protecting our only home. We can use less plastics, drive less, waste less food, and teach each other to care. On World Environment Day and every day, let us reconnect with nature. Let us cherish the planet that protects us. But not all world leaders are in agreement with these sentiments. United States President Donald Trump recently pulled the country out of the Paris Accord aimed at unifying global efforts in the fight against environmental degradation. Today I'm taking bold action to follow through on that promise. My administration is putting an end to the war on coal. We're gonna have clean coal, really clean coal. With today's executive action, I am taking historic steps to lift the restrictions on American energy, to reverse government intrusion, and to cancel job-killing regulations. Set up in 1974, the World Environmental Day is meant to provide opportunity to broaden the basis of an enlightened opinion and responsible conduct by individuals, enterprises, and communities. Focus this year is being drawn to billions of rural people around the world who spend every working day connected to nature and bring about an appreciation for their dependence on natural water supplies and how nature provides their livelihoods in the form of fertile soil at a time when ecosystems are threatened. Every World Environmental Day has a different global host country where the official celebrations take place. Canada is this year's. As part of the festivities, Canada will be offering free passes for its national parks throughout 2017. The Environment and Sustainable Development Goals at the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development asserts the need to ensure the lasting protection of the planet and its natural resources. In particular, Goal 14 and 15 focused on protecting underwater and on-land ecosystems, as well as sustainably using marine and terrestrial resources. In East Africa, environmental concerns include deforestation, soil erosion, desertification, water shortage and degraded water quality, flooding, poaching and domestic and industrial pollution. That is why members of the East African Legislative Assembly last week voted to ban plastic bags across the region following the passing of the Polythene Materials Control Bill 2017 at their sitting in Arusha, Tanzania. If eventually assented by the ESC leaders, the instrument will prohibit manufacture, sale, importation and use of polythene bags in the region.